Today we're going over a few of my favorite Windows 11 apps that I guarantee you will make your day-to-day -day life using your PC a whole lot nicer. The first thing we're going to improve is the way you adjust your audio levels because by default when you mouse over and press on your audio icon you're greeted with this menu and frankly I think it can be a whole lot better. Which is where our first app called Ear Trumpets comes in and gives us a brand new audio icon that looks like this when you press on it, allowing you not only to adjust the master volume, but also every application on your PC have their own volume dial right here, one click away. And if you want to change your default playback device from say your laptop speakers to your headphones, you have that option as well. The only problem now though is we have two audio icons on our taskbar when you really only want one. And at the moment, when you try and drag the old audio icon to the overflow section here, it doesn't let you. This is where our second app called Start or Back comes in and once installed it separates those three icons that were previously grouped together into individual ones the way it should be in my opinion, allowing us now to of course take our old audio icon and drag it to the overflow section because we probably won't be using that one as much anymore and completely replace it with Ear Trumpet. So now when you press on your audio icon you get this, when you press on your Wi-Fi icon you get your Wi-Fi and when you press back you still get access to all this. Alternatively though if you have a laptop, when you press on your battery icon, you still have this menu here, should you ever need it. This app really just gives you complete control over your Windows 11 taskbar, allowing you to even enable things like transparency, and if you're not a fan of the way the normal Windows 11 start menu looks like, you can also completely replace it with this enhanced classic start menu that looks like this, and is actually completely customizable, and in my opinion, much better than the normal Windows 11 one. And speaking of bringing back the classics, have you ever tried to do something simple, like access the NVIDIA control panel, only to have to go through not one context menu, but two context menus to get to it? Well, if you're like me, and you're not a fan of the Windows 11 context menu, you can completely get rid of it and never have to see it ever again. You can either download the Windows 11 classic context menu mod right here, and simply press on enable classic context menu, restart your explorer, and now when you right click on anything to bring up the context menu, you're greeted with the classic one, the way it should be, in my opinion at least. <laughs> Next up we have a bonus app called NordPass Business who have kindly sponsored today's video. Not only is this app a great password manager, but it also promises to save you time and energy all while boosting your cyber security online, so you can waste less time on repetitive and tedious IT issues and regain focus on what matters most. NordPass Business makes it easy to implement strong passwords company-wide by default, making sure your employees aren't reusing the same password for every single account. After all, with data breaches being more common than ever before, you'd want to be the first to know if your login credentials have been leaked somewhere on the internet. And luckily, with the NordPass data breach scanner, you and your employees will be notified immediately of any leaked login credentials, so you can take quick action and prevent a hacker from potentially accessing your accounts. Give your business the productivity and cybersecurity boost that it deserves by trying NordPass Business today and get a free month trial by following the link in the video description or pinned comment below. So if you've been following along so far, you've probably made your Windows 11 experience a whole lot better already, but we're just getting started. The next app is called Power Toys and allows us to have some pretty powerful tools to really customize Windows beyond what you thought was previously possible. I'm just gonna focus on a few ones that I myself find quite useful and hopefully you'll find quite useful as well. One of these features is called Image Resizer and allows you to very quickly reduce both the resolution and file size of any photo on your PC. Simply right click on a picture, press resize pictures, then select a new resolution, press resize, and within seconds you will have a smaller file size from five megabytes reduced down to just one megabyte, allowing you to of course upload it to a website that perhaps might have file size restrictions. Another feature I quite like is you now have the ability to bring up this search bar by pressing Alt space on your keyboard to search something simple like an application on your PC like Spotify, and you can even search the web as well through a web browser of your choice that doesn't have to be Microsoft Edge. <laughs> crazy, right? Speaking of crazy things, what if I told you there was a way you could get your iPhone to communicate with Windows and not only receive every single notification your iPhone gets on your Windows PC, but also have wireless file transfer support, essentially airdrop, between the two devices and be able to reply to iMessage conversations using your Windows PC. Honestly, a mind-blowing app that I can't believe actually exists and works so well. It's called Intel Unison and I'll leave it linked down below in the description alongside every other app I've mentioned in today's video. 
The app requires you to have an Intel CPU, a Wi-Fi connection, and a Bluetooth connection in order to work. You download the Intel Unison app on your iPhone and on your PC, pair the two together using your Bluetooth connection, and that's it. The only bit of advice I will give you is make sure that both your PC and your iPhone are on the same Wi-Fi connection if you want the fastest possible file transfer speeds between the two devices. Because if they're on separate Wi-Fi networks, it's gonna try and do it over a Bluetooth connection, which is gonna take an eternity. Apart from that though, absolute game changer of an app when it comes to file transfers between a PC and an iPhone. Couldn't recommend it enough. The next app we have is called LightShot and replaces the normal Windows 11 print screen function to one that works much better in my opinion and allows you to not only, of course, take a full screenshot of whatever's on your monitor in an instant and directly upload it to the internet, save it locally or just copy whatever you've just screenshotted. But what I find quite useful about it is that you can adjust exactly what you take a screenshot of very quickly by using this tool, allowing you to just take a screenshot of say the LightShot logo and save that on your PC and use it for whatever you need to use it for. It's a super simple app, but I've been using it myself for many years and I always have it installed on every Windows PC I've ever owned recently because I find it to be a big improvement of the normal Windows 11 print screen function. And the final app on our list is called Dolby Access, which you may have heard of before. It's basically an audio enhancement app that just makes your headphones or your speakers on your laptop or your soundbar sound a little bit nicer. There's a few profiles that you can play around with and I was genuinely quite surprised by how nice the audio sounded after I installed this thing because it genuinely sounded like a bit of a gimmick, like, yeah, right, an app is gonna make my headphones or my speaker sound better when playing music or playing games. But after trying it out, I've installed it on both my laptop and my PC here because I find audio after installing this just sounds better. All the links are down below the like button and remember to use code TECHBLOCK when you claim your three month trial for your NordPass business account. Now that you're done optimizing Windows 11, you'll wanna watch this video here where I showcase my favorite free web browser extensions to make your experience using Google Chrome a whole lot nicer as well.